If you, O oh Lord, should mark iniquity, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, O oh God of Israel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May the priest, St. Paul, whose only love was the cross, obtain for us your grace, O Lord, so that, urged on more strongly by his example, we may embrace our own cross with courage, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, Hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of your love for all the holy ones, I do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory, and his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is sur the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe, in accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet and gave him his head over all things to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills up all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. O oh Lord, our Lord, how glorious is your name over all the earth. You have exalted your majesty above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, you have fashioned praise because of your foes. You have given your son rule over all the earth. When I behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you set in place, what is man that you should be mindful of him, or the son of man, that you should care for him. You have given your son rule over the works of man. You have made him little less than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him rule over the works of your hands, putting all things under his feet. You have given your son rule over the works of your hands. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <coughs> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, Everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. 
Everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven, but the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they take you before synagogues and before rulers and authorities, do not worry about how or what your defense will be or about what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that moment what you should say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today the church honors Saint Paul of the Cross. Paul is the founder of the Passionist Religious Order, born in the 1700s if I'm not mistaken. Uh, feels impelled to go toward uh, the Middle East preach the faith and die a martyr, but under spiritual inspiration decides to instead form a religious community centered around the cross of Christ. His first attempts fail. They fail miserably. All the people who gather around him except his brother leave him. The Holy Father will not even meet with him to talk about the commissioning of this new community. It's not until close to 20 years later that he's finally able to have an audience to get the ball rolling. Paul wanted us to focus on the cross of Christ and how to patiently bear with our sufferings, with courage, all that being said, when I speak of the cross of Christ and suffering, so often we immediately move to the physical suffering, either through injury or illness. But I wanted to look at it from a different perspective. There is a sense of suffering that we go through at different times in our lives that I would list under a doubt or a confusion, especially centering upon uh, very big decisions, very important decisions. As I was reflecting, I thought, here is Saint Paul of the Cross who feels impelled he believes God has inspired him. He's forming this religious community. And it's not working. I am sure that there were nights when Paul sat there in prayer thinking, God, am I doing the right thing? Was I being misled? I'm sure there are times he probably cried as he thought about the failures. As he watched the men leave, who he had called to form this community. He might have felt even some despair when he's not allowed to even plead his case to the Holy Father asking for the establishment of this new congregation. And I see all of these struck home for me because I'm going through them. As we attempt to build a new church for St. Thomas, gosh, there are nights when I stay up wondering, Lord, am I, is this the right thing? Am I following your will? Is this my will? And as I meet with people who say, well, you know, we thank you, we support you, we love you, but, you know, we'll pray for you. And you have to look and say, well, okay, because we came to ask for, for some help financially, and 
when you get a few doors closed, politely closed, not to say that they, anything about the individuals, you start to have those doubts. And all of a sudden, Paul makes much more sense to me. We have those same doubts when we're being asked <coughs> to leave everything we know and move to a different area for a job, to go to school. There's questions, am I doing the right thing? Is this what God really wants in my life? There are times in the marital relationship where it's not going well. And one or other of the spouses sits up at night wondering, Is, was this the person God wanted me to marry for the rest of my life? Is this how it was supposed to be? When we run into financial difficulties and hardships, we may lose a house, car, and we sit there as we return maybe back to the family home. I know people who are in their 50s and 60s and have to go back and live with their parents over the last decade. They've lost so much. And you sit there and you think, is this God what it was supposed to be? Therefore, that is the beauty of turning to St. Paul of the Cross who knows through his own experience what we went through. And we can say, St. Paul of the Cross, pray for me, that I'll have courage to stick it out, to bear with this patiently, to treat people with kindness, love, generosity, and charity, even when on the inside I feel doubt and confusion. Help me, St. Paul of the Cross. And I promise you, as much as when any of us look at each other and say, I'm struggling, can you say a prayer for me? I promise you, every one of us would say yes. If we said today to those on the video, you know, can you say a prayer for our parish? I promise you, those people watching would say a prayer. So too does St. Paul of the Cross. He's still alive in God. He can still pray for us that we will be men and women of courage in the midst of suffering, whatever that suffering entails, that we follow the will of God when we're confused, when we're doubtful, when we're wondering if we're only in the right path, that we stay true to the virtues of kindness, generosity, and love. And in doing so, wherever that path may lead us, because it may lead to a way that we never anticipated, we will be there as virtuous, saintly, holy men and women. <coughs> and that, dear friends, is the most important thing. May Almighty God be with you. May He bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Come and dig God, let us now offer our prayers and our needs. For all who have vowed themselves to God, that with his help they may faithfully keep to their resolve, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace among nations, that delivered from all turmoil, the peoples may serve God in freedom of heart, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the elderly who suffer from isolation or sickness, that they may be strengthened by our love of them as brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For ourselves gathered here, that as God does not cease to sustain us with the things of this life, we may know how to use them in such a way that they may hold even now to the things that endure forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all our prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, joined through the intercession of St. Bridget of Ireland, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Lola, for Tato, for who this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Offering all our praises 
to the Father, let us conclude with the prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, Father, and to the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, for over to Adam. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer Almighty God in commemoration of St. Paul of the Cross, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now enact through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread on it, giving thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the King, the power, and the glory are yours, and now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of The rich suffer want and go hungry, but those who seek the Lord will have no blessing.
Let us pray. O oh God, who in St. Paul have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Amen. Michael, be our archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be you in the name of the Lord. And be you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, Prince of the Tale, Satan, and all the unclean spirits, who run through the world seeking to ruin souls. Amen. The divine praise, protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, through God and through man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the blessed be our heart. Blessed be the most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus and the most precious blood. Blessed be God in 